today I'm going to try and help Steve cook a stroganoff, I think. I think it's a sausage stroganoff. I, I owe him that after falling asleep, trying to cook the other day. Sandra, what are you doing? I've, I've asked you, please stay on that kitchen, please, chum. After what happened before. I'll go, I'll leave you to cook it yourself. Afternoon, everybody. About Steve Spices. It's still Friday, it's now afternoon. I'm heading down to, I don't know if it's Aldi or Little, down the bottom of here. Get some ingredients to do a bit of cookery later. So, it's still very windy, but luckily it's behind me, I think. See the Union flag there blowing in the wind as I pass the school. I'm heading down towards Aldi or Lidl. Got some ingredients to do a, a bit of cooking. Not sure what yet, I haven't decided. I do have some sausages cooked, so I might do some sort of sausage stroganoff. Or something with cauliflower rice. I've decided or I might do a beef stroganoff. Might even do a pasta dish. I don't know. I don't eat pasta normally. I've recently done a lasagna. So you can see the estate that we're heading to in the distance at what used to be Crossley's Bridge I think we call it b q Bridge now even though Crossley's is gone and b q has gone it's uh, now a B&M and a Aldi or a Little we get down here we pass the entrance to Warwick Hill which has had a couple of fires this last year, I think. So as well as the DWP, this used to be the driving test centre, which I think is also closed now. That used to be there. It'll all be gone. Probably not in my lifetime, but it'll all be gone and houses will be built there, I think, soon. So that was a bit of a storm this morning. Early on it woke me up. I went and slept in the fallout shelter. So I didn't really hear anything but I could see it on the cameras. See it on the CCTV. The little windmill that generates the electric with the solar in my fallout shelter was going a bit fast. I thought it was going to come off. And uh, it was making a lot of noise in the wind. Through the way of this traffic passing. Try and get across. And we're away. Need eyes everywhere on, on this junction. Try and get in here. Okay. 
beating him. It's a big beating him. An oldie. So now I know it's oldie. I won't remember. Once I get inside, I won't they all look alike to me. So British baby buttered mushrooms. I've got garlic. Right, I don't like getting in here now. There's some uh, fresh double cream. Fresh British double cream. Now we must remember to get chopped tomatoes this time. Chopped tomatoes with herbs in the basket, mind the cream. Bit of smoked paprika. Oh no, we don't need bay leaves or any of that shite. It's only for me. <laughs> at all this. Oh we've got brushes, rakes, bins, rugs. Oh toys, toys, toys. Glasses. All sorts. All sorts of junk here. Fill your shelves up with all sorts. <laughs> what we got here? More cakes, beer, cheap beer, shoes, Weetabix, mirrors, tables. <coughs> oh. oh no, it's a Scotty dog. I thought it was a donkey. What's that one? A Highland cow. Mm. What's this one? Meh, meh, days of the sheep, and that one, what did I say it was, dog? Ruff, 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 that's Steve, ruff, ruff. Oh, we, we could even get a compost bin. Compost bin, yeah, we could grow tomatoes. Arcadio Bistro set, garden day bed. Oh, they've got all sorts in here, folks. All sorts, right, get me out. Hi everybody, Fat Steve Spice Heads. As you can see, I've got the uh, ingredients to do this uh, sausage stroganoff. I'm all here, set up, ready to cook it. Um, but we've got another problem now. The hassles we've been having for the last couple of weeks. Another brick uh, has come through the window. Sandra D's hit the deck. Um, Harry's on the deck, so uh, it's going to be impossible, let's just try and put the projector screen up, it's going to be impossible to carry on in this state, because this room connects to the kitchen. So you've got three quarters of the video, <laughs> but I'm going to have to leave it at that. The next day. Morning everybody, it's Fat Steve Spice says it's 9.47, it's Sunday and uh, as you'll have seen I've just, uh, I've already finished the video preparing what I was cooking and uh, I had more hassle from this um, crazy guy that used to lodge with one of the tenants upstairs, I'm heading down Church Street I'm heading up Church Street. <laughs> it's uh, 10 to 10. It's 10 to 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 10. I'm just heading across to either Aldi or Lidl um, because what I was going to cook was a um, sausage stroganoff. But after the window got smashed, I've ended up eating the sausages for my dinner. 
um, that's tidied up a bit now so I'm going to get some fillet steak if I can this morning and make it a beef stroganoff so I'm going to leave it there for now so I get um, in the supermarket if it opens at 10 hopefully will not be long so I'm just down at a different level <laughs> one on Devonshire Road um, need to uh, Need some steak to make this strong enough. I don't know if it's open yet. It's open to come in, but I don't know if it's open to pay. Um, I think it's just coming up to 10 o'clock. Um, I'm trying to find some steak, which I think is round here. Let's have a look. Oh, good gosh. Where's my specs? In theory, I want fillet steak. That's some rump, some sirloin, and a bit of fillet. It's a nice big ribeye there. So, we're actually going to have a small bit of fillet, and it's only going to be my lunch. I can't say how much that is. Everything else I should have. So we'll bung that in there. And go and see if we can pay for it. Oh look at this, these croissants are laughing at me. Excuse me, thank you. Cheers. Yeah, the croissants are laughing at me. Ooh, still lots of things in here. This is a different one, but it's got the same sort of stuff, I think. All right, where's the way out? Get me out! Them croissants are killing me. I'm trying not to have carbs today, if I can help it. Oh, we've got some somewhere open down here, I think. I don't know if it's not open till 10 or not. I'll leave it there. So as I thought, they're not open yet. So I'm just in a queue to pay, and I'm off to get home. Sorry, man. Catch you all later. So that's me done at Lynn. Need to get home now and get um, Stacy from next door to prepare all that, and then I can cook it. So hopefully we will get a beef stroganoff, not a sausage stroganoff, a beef stroganoff. This is strong enough, yeah, because it was strong enough. Yeah, I just yeah. Mm. So it's now 10:15. <laughs> I've managed to get home before the rain, and uh, all I need to do now is get uh, somebody to prepare everything, and then we're off. Hopefully, if another brick doesn't come through the window. <laughs> Fat Steve cooks. Finally, finally, it's taken a few days, and uh, Alexa, what time is it? It's 10.58 a.m. Alexa, what day is it? Oh, so today is Sunday, the 25th of August, and I'm trying to get this out for four o'clock today. It's taken days. So, we've got the uh, pan on the heat. And uh, I was going to get Stacy from next door, the carer, to come and prepare this, but I've had to get somebody else in the building. So we've got the butter, onions, mushrooms, garlic, strips of fillet steak, cream, paprika, chopped tomatoes, pepper and salt. So let's kick straight off and try and get this butter in here. So that's the butter. Ooh, that's, that's heating up nicely. I've, I've let that pan get hotter than normal. So, let's have a see. What do we need? Mushroom. Uh, sorry, onions. So the onions are in there. Three. 
So we need to uh, saute them down a bit. It's actually slowed the pan that. So I've got the mushrooms lined up next, but it should be the steak. And that, uh, that dish is done. So it's been a mad um, few days. <laughs> Here, as I say, there's a lady who lives upstairs who's 73 with tattoos over her eye and Botox in her lips that makes her look a bit like a duck. She's about 73, 75, I think. She has a boyfriend who's 35, who's paranoid schizophrenic. She's been evicted. He's not been allowed in the building for two or three years but he just turns up now and again um, she's probably the most antisocial woman I've ever met in my life and uh, she allows him in and he smashes the cameras he smashes the fire alarm this week he's attacks a woman in a cafe down the road um, threw a can at her that hit her in the chest and really badly hurt her um, He's broke several windows in the property. Um, police keep chasing him, keep catching him. They take him to courts and the magistrates, or the judge lets him out. Um, but that's the way of the world, folks. Um, so he has restrictions now not to come back, but he still just makes a little guest appearance now and again, does a bit of criminal damage. Um, and he's out, he was actually a client of mine years ago, I helped him. Um, everybody in the building has done what they can to help him. Um, one of the uh, other tenants is a, a mental health mentor and counsellor. She's tried. The other gentleman upstairs has tried. We've all done what we can. But he, because he's been, because the uh, she's been evicted, he's just lost the plot. So as you can see, that's staring in nicely, glistening up, and we'll get a bit of salt on that. I think from an early stage. I'm going to have to put this one down now for the black pepper. So that's the black pepper. Now you'll notice, hmm, I've no V-cat today. Well it is early morning, but I'm going to have a fag. Just add a bit of flavour to this. Oh, that's nice. So I'm trying to film this from several angles. I don't know if everything's running properly or not. But well, that's coming on nicely. Now, a bit of liquid. Let's have a look. Chopped tomatoes with herbs. <coughs> not too much, just about. Just under half a tin, just to give it a bit of liquid. So we need that to get back bubbling soon. And we'll go up in here and see. Oh, is that? Right next to my last cauliflower rice. And that's coming on nicely. We'll give that a little bit more salt. Now I normally put sugar or sweetener in that, but um, I'm going to leave it as it is, as it's early morning. <laughs> so 
so that's looking good. Right, now we'll try and get the garlic in, I think. So that's the garlic in, and all over my hands. Then try and get that a little stir. Now let's just give that a few minutes. This won't take as long as the uh, steak die on, hopefully. Take that off there, and uh, add the cream. So, quite a nice big dollop of cream, and that will react with the butter and form a nice thick sauce. Hopefully. Try and stir that in a little bit before it starts. So, I'm going to leave that and go and start editing what I filmed earlier and then I'll be back. So I'm just here to check on that, it's bubbling up nicely, it will start to reduce soon and make a nice creamy, creamy sauce. <coughs> 15 minutes later. So, one of my friends has just put the microwave on. Here's the dish, boiling up nicely. Um, got a plate waiting for it. Pull these over half of these tomatoes away. Oh, that's a bit of a waste. Yeah. The only cost pennies. Put that back over there. And then two back over there where they live. Give that a little stir. Alexa, what day is it? Alexa, what time is it? The time is 11.15 a.m. Alexa, what day is it? It's Sunday the 25th of August. So that will give you a rough idea of how long that's took. That's nearly there. That's nearly where I want it. And I've nearly finished this bag. <laughs> Surely not, it's not the same bag, is it out? <laughs> so, where's that at? Are you okay to take that out? Cheers, chum. So, Melanie's taken the rice out and plonked it on the plate for me. Just make a little hole. Give this one final little stir, that's nicely congealed, thickened up lovely. Oh that should be a nice breakfast. <laughs> so let's try and get that in the middle. So, there we go, a hot and spicy beef stroganoff. So, I'm going to dive back in there now and eat that. Oh, he's got his glasses on. I'm going to dive back in there now and eat that and uh, try and uh, upload that for you for today at four o'clock. So for now, it's Fat Steve. 
completely sober having cooked beef stroganoff that light's probably a bit better that way so stay safe everybody sorry it's been such a mishmash i'll catch you all later spooning her mm, mm, mm. in fact we'll have a bit of that let's just try a little bit of that nice piece of fillet steak on there look at that mm -hmm. Beautiful. Catch you all later. Fat Steve. Spices. Respect that light right again. So. Bye bye. That's it. End of. Cut. Waste not, what not. Mm -hmm.